Hello everyone, this is the jolly old Santa Claus, and uh, I'm a Toronto Maple Leaf fan, and uh, uh, all credit to Montreal Canadiens, uh, they proved us wrong, they freaking, they really proved us wrong, and I'm not even mad, I'm not, um, this video is just to get this off my mind, you know. Um, I'm gonna move on from this loss. I'm not. I'm gonna try not to think about this ever again, which is nearly impossible. Cause when you're a fan of a, your favorite team, you want them to to succeed. This franchise, and uh, I feel bad for Kyle Dubas. I really do. He's, he tried this year to really um, get this team uh, to get this team to where it needs to be and he didn't do the bad the wrong thing and here's why Kyle Dubas didn't do the wrong thing and I'm gonna say it right now our defense is the problem and you're probably thinking Oh, yeah, you don't even... Are you stupid? Do you know hockey? People have been saying this to me. Look. If you do not have good defense, your whole team isn't showing up. I hate to say it. Like, sorry to Kyle Dubas. We got some offensive toughness. That's what we need, and we need to keep it. But, man, if I had to choose who I would rather keep, Marner or Nylander... I would keep Nylander. This guy is more important than Marner. I hate to say it, but Marner... Matthews has been better than Marner. Matthews has been desperately trying to get this first line going. He's been doing everything in his power to get this team going, get this, this offensive going, this offense going. He had 30 shots, game 6 on the net. I think something like that and he couldn't get a goal but he's he he's doing everything he can when I hear people say Austin Matthews doesn't have passion for the Leafs that's not true an NHL player is not playing hockey with no passion when I hear people say that you are you're kind of an idiot that's not even true like, no, that's not true. If you're, we need bigger, gritty, we need big, gritty defensemen that are going to do the, that are going to come in to this Toronto Maple Leaf team and they're going to do the, all the dirty work because I still think we should keep Bogosian. Don't get me wrong. And you're going to be like, why keep Bogosian? Bogosian is lined up with a terrible defenseman that doesn't hit, doesn't check, doesn't block many shots, doesn't do the dirty work. I'm sorry. We're gonna keep Bogosian. Don't we don't need we don't need Marner. I hate to say it, but Marner's not not staying. Like he can't, I'm sorry. Like he's he's overpaid. Marner it's just not meant for this team. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to say that. I would say he's meant for this team. But the problem is, he's not... Matthews and Nylander looked a lot better than him. Like Marner. What, you, you couldn't even recognize. You could not recognize. I'm still yawning. Uh, I woke up not too long ago, so I'm still trying to wake up. But Marner has looked like a, a complete ghost. He's been taking too many penalties this playoffs. Like, all he does is take penalties. Matthews and Nylander. Nylander took one penalty, and that was it, this, this, this playoffs. Matthews has took none. Absolutely none. Kyle Dubas. Oh man, I feel bad for the guy, because you know what? This is the first year that Kyle Dubas 
has really tried. Oh, I kind of get emotional talking about it. He's done everything in his power this year, it seems, to actually fix this team. The offense is fixed. But our defense is not. It's the same thing as last year. And you know what? I might even say our defense is worse than last year. When it comes to the playoffs, you need big gritty defensemen that are coming that are going to come in and do the dirty work, like check, hit and block and get under the player's skin. And they're going to make the other team players pay when they come into the Toronto's end. Like when your offense when your offensive players see that, they think to themselves when they see your defense when they see your defense doing the dirty work, your offensive players start saying to themselves, "Oh my god, we can win this game. We can do this." Your offense gets energized significantly energized when they see your defense doing all the dirty work cuz they know your goalie is safe they know they know you you can't get scored on they know that they can they can stay in the habs end and they'll feel super energized and they'll have some a lot of swagger and they'll have a lot of confidence they're not going to have any of that if your defense is not doing good. And our defense has not been good at all last game. And I would like to see Justin Hall get traded for Josh Manson. You know what I mean? Like, that would be good. I would really like to see that. Like... I can't believe half of the half leaf half of the hockey community cannot recognize what is wrong with this team. Montreal basic was saying apparently they know what Toronto is doing wrong and apparently Toronto knows Apparently Sheldon Keith knows what happened, what was wrong. I, to me, it feels like the defense is not good enough. It's not going to work. It will not work. I would like to see Josh Manson come to Toronto, or Brett Burns, or Seth Jones, because they're gritty, they check, they block a lot of shots, they do all the dirty work. We need more defensemen like that. All of Montreal's defensemen are big defensemen and they're gritty. They do all the dirty work. They're big defensemen. And that is exactly what this team, what we need. And you know what? I'm actually starting to like Montreal. They're growing on me. They're never going to, I'm never going to like them as more. I'm never going to like them more than Toronto. Never. But I, I'm starting to like the Montreal Canadiens because you know what? That team, that team knows how to win a game. Knows how to win a playoff series. And when Toronto was up, even when Toronto was up 3-1 to one in the series, when you think about it, I still didn't even feel safe because I... Our, our defense, I felt something bad was going to happen because our defense was not hitting, not laying checks, not laying hits. We weren't crushing the other team's players. And that's exactly what Montreal did to us. It's the same thing every year. That is the problem. That is what all Leaf fans have been, pro have been complaining about. If our defense is not going to do all the dirty work, our offense is not going to do good. Hmm. So, you know what, like, we're at the point now 
with this franchise, we have to do something significant. We have to trade Marner. I would keep Nylander over Marner. We're not getting rid of Matthews. Matthews is not going anywhere. He, he did whatever he could to get this offensive line going and the offense going in general. He did whatever he could in the playoffs to get this offense going, and he couldn't. And look, Austin Matthews, so, like, he's not going to be traded. That's never going to happen. He's never going to be, he's never going to go to the Arizona Coyotes. That's never going to happen. Like, so forget about that. But Montreal, all their, the defense did just did all the dirty work, and their offense got confidence. They, they got swagger. They got energy. So until the defense doesn't improve, our offense is going to play terrible. So that needs to change. And that is the only way this Leaf team is ever going to win a playoff series. It's not the offense. Forget about the offense. Stop saying it's the offense. People need to give their head a shake. It's not the offense. Although Marner, uh, like, we're giving Marner too many chances. And Kyle Dubas stuck up for him last year. Kyle Dubas is going to regret saying that. Oh, Marner works his ass off. Okay, Marner works his ass off. What has Marner done for us this year in the playoffs that is important? What has he done to try and boost this offense? Nothing. He's taken way too many penalties. He's not been shooting at the net very much. Matthews has been shooting at the, at the net a lot. And that's a good sign. That is a good sign. Like, don't panic because Matthews got one goal in 30 shots. He's getting a lot of shots. He's been getting a lot of shots in the playoffs. He has been. And just because they haven't gone in doesn't mean something he's going to be traded. That does not mean a, a thing. He's not going to be traded. That is never going to happen for a long, long time. Like when his contract is over, the Leafs are gonna re-sign him. Like Nylander and Matthews right now are the two faces of this offensive, of this offense. Marner's supposed to be, but I don't think Marner's coming back. I don't. I've been hearing from a lot of people, Marner trade, traded for Eichel. The problem is, Eichel, he shoots right, but he's not, a, he's not a right wing like Marner. Marner is a right wing. Eichel isn't, but you know what? You could still make that work. I have a problem. A major problem with bringing in Eichel. Why bring in Jack Eichel? What is that going to fix? We need more on the back end. We've been wanting that for so many years, and we need that. We do, as Leaf fans. We need to step in and let Kyle Dubas know that we need a much better defense. Much better defense. A whole lot better, a hundred times better. Way better defense. I don't, get, I don't think we're getting rid of Bogosian. I do think Dermot needs to go. Hall needs to go. Hall is supposed to be one of our best defensemen. If he's not going to do, we need a we need a big gritty defenseman that is not afraid to hit or block shots or check. Like a Shea Weber defenseman. That is what this team needs. Josh Manson would be a perfect fit. But you know what? If we can't get Josh Manson, the other option, Brett Burns. Brett Burns would be such a 
great fit for this late team. He hits, he does all the dirty work, and that is exactly what this team needs. He can score goals, too, but he doesn't score many goals. He, he blocks a lot of shots, he hits, he checks. Josh Manson does the same thing. Seth Jones is a free agent this year, coming. And you know what? Seth Jones is not going to be cheap. But if the least want to get him, trade Marner for a first round pick, pick up a cheap right winger, and, and put Seth Jones on the right side. You know what I mean? Like, Seth Jones is a great defenseman. He does a lot of the dirty work for Columbus, and he would be great. Um, now Columbus also has another defenseman that the Toronto Maple Leafs should look into, Urensky, or whatever his freaking name is. Um, he's a left shot, and he's good. Like, really good. But we're not going to get him, because he's not, he's not one of them defensemen that we could get. He would be a lot more money than Seth Jones, too. So, I would trade Dermot for Matthias Ekholm. If we brought in these kind of defensemen to um, take Dermot's spot, take Hall's spot, you know, uh, you know, our defense would be so much better. And, you know, imagine, like, Josh Manson would be a great, that'd be, that would be like the only defenseman that we could get for the right side because he's the cheapest. Uh, that's the only one I could see happening. But if we, if we can't get him, I would be going for Brett Burns, 100%. Because he doesn't just have that presence, but he's physical. Look. Brett Burns is not afraid to fight. He's not afraid to stick up for his team. He does all the dirty work on the defensive end. He blocks, hits, checks. That's exactly. He would be the perfect fit for Toronto. Seth Jones. Another great option. I think that would be... Honestly, I would rather Seth Jones over Josh Manson. But that's just my opinion. And Kyle Dubas needs to make something like this happen. I want to see Josh Manson or Brett Burns or Seth Jones signed with the Leafs. Because you know what? If that happens, I'm going to potentially shit my pants. Because you know what? Our defense is the problem. Forget about the offense. But we do need to trade Marner. <laughs> like, what has Marner done right for the last two years, he hasn't been doing anything right. And the fact that we improved the defense, because the defense is not improved at all. It looked, it looked good in the, in the regular season. The regular season doesn't matter to me anymore. Okay? There's hitting. There's checking. There's ch a lot more chirping. A lot more fighting. A lot more aggression in the playoffs. Things are going to get exposed on your team in the playoffs. So, our defense... Oh man, our defense. Like, Riley... Riley was okay. He wasn't terrible. But Riley is an option to trade. We could trade Riley for a first round pick. For Matthias Ekholm. He does all the dirty work. He does fight too. But he blocks. He hits. He checks. We could, we could potentially replace Riley with a much grittier and dirtier, dirty work defenseman. That's bigger. That's what you need on your defense. You need defensemen like that that are going to do that. It, it's... 
It gives your offense confidence and swagger and energy. So I guarantee if we had, for an example, Josh Manson and Matthias Ekholm on the left side, well, Ekholm on the right side and, and Manson on, no, Ekholm on the left side, Manson on the right side, this offense, we would have won Mont we would have took Montreal out 4-0. We would have we would have ran them over with our offense. Our our offense would have been so confident, so boosted, uh, with a lot of swagger. We would have took the Montreal Canadiens out long ago before game seven. But until we don't fix the defense, until until Kyle Dubas realizes something with this defense. This team's not going to go past the first round. If we don't improve the defense for next season, like, this de this team's not going past the first round. Like, we have to, we have to change this defense. Um, that's the problem. It's nothing else. My thoughts on, uh, My thoughts on the Leafs this year. We weren't we weren't tough enough defensively like Montreal. And it just caused us the game. If your defense is not gonna play properly and do all the dirty work, your offense is not going to be boosted with swagger or confidence. We would have won if our defense was a lot better. The whole team would have been all over all, our offense would have been all over Montreal so we're not getting rid of Brody Brody has been amazing I love Brody like Brody has been our best defenseman and that is because we we Jake Muzzin is not lined up with the proper partner Josh Manson or Brett Burns would be Muzzin's dream partner right there that's like a dream come true for Jake Muzzin. That would shut the Habs down. That Just that line would shut the, the offense down for us for Mon on Montreal's side. And that's what we need. We have to do something with, with this defense. It's not going to work. And I, hate, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining, complaining. But anyway. Carey Price. We still, we still should have won the game. Even though Carey Price is the best goalie in the world, I think Carey Price is the best goalie in the world. He certainly looks it. Um, but, man, we still should have won this series, though, you know? It is what it is. Um, just Let's just hope our defense gets a lot better, like 100 times better. Let's hope our defense gets fixed the way it was supposed to be like 30 or 40 years ago our defense has never been has never really been physical and you have to you have to bring in people like that players defensive players like that that will do more for this group you know um so you can't you can't really br blame the offensive players you really can't with bad defense and honestly, you can't even blame Marner. But the problem is, Marner has looked like our worst, our worst offensive player. You know what I mean? Like, I don't understand. You know what I mean? It, it's just, it's unfortunate. So we can't really blame, it's not our offense. We can't even blame our offense. We can blame our defense because that's the problem. But everything Montreal did right defensively just boosted the whole offense. And the whole game seven, Sheldon Keith looked so pissed off. But he probably told the players game seven, you know what? I gotta say, our offensive players and our goalie, it, it's not their fault. He probably tore in. He probably tore into uh, the the 
the defenseman players a little bit after Game 7. He probably said, our defense is the reason why we lost this series for many reasons. He probably tore into them a little bit, and I don't blame Sheldon Keith one bit. And he's probably talking to Kyle Dubas right now saying, our defense is not good enough for this team to win a Stanley Cup. It's not going to work. And I don't think, like, Kyle Dubas, Kyle Dubas would be lucky if he's not fired by next week. He be he he will be lucky if he's still with this team by next week. So I don't know. I don't know if Kyle Dubas is going to be is is going to be staying or not. Fans, us Leaf fans knew this was going to happen. I tried to say I know they're going to win. I know they're going to win, but it's hard to say that when you know they're not. And we all know what the problem is. And Kyle Dubas is not, for some reason, Kyle Dubas just can't, can't seem to get his head around the defense. He, he can't. And it's his fault because he's, he's the one that brought in these defensemen, right? Like, Brody's awesome. Hall's not good. Dermott's not good. Um... I don't know if we should keep Riley. I'd give him another year. Um, but I don't know. I'd give him another year because he might he might play better with a much dirty, dirty work, gritty defenseman. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, what do you guys think? Um, we got to get rid of Angval. Possibly. I don't know. I'm not, I wouldn't even worry about getting rid of our offensive players right now. I, I'd, be worry, I'd be more worrying about our defense because we could clear up money with Marner and that would be Toronto's best option because he's getting paid like what? 11 or 12 million dollars or like 14 million. I don't know how much Marner's getting. I think he's getting like 13 million, I think. So clear up that money. We could bring in a cheaper right wing that would be more useful for this team than trade Hall for, we could use some of that money towards um, signing a player, a defenseman, that's way better than Hall. Like, one that's going to play gritty, you know, um, and do all the dirty work. But Montreal, it, that's the reason why their offense was so dangerous, because their defense was doing all the dirty work. It boosts the, it boosts the offensive players majorly, and we all know that's, that's what happened. So anyways, see you guys next time.